Hi, my name is Kristen Gilley, and I'm a consultant with Evergreen Solutions. We are based out of Tallahassee, Florida, and we are a public sector consulting firm. Uh, we have been hired by Culpeper County Public Schools to conduct a compensation and classification study for the division. The purpose of this orientation session is to tell you more about Evergreen Solutions as well as about the uh, study and your role in it. So Evergreen Solutions is a national public sector consulting firm. We've worked in um, about 48 states. We've done over 800 of these compensation and classification studies. And uh, we mostly work with local government, school districts, higher education institutions, state agencies, and quasi-governmental organizations. The goals of this study is to review the current compensation and classification system. We'll also be conducting a salary survey of peer organizations. And at the end of this study, we'll produce some recommendations to provide the division with a classification and compensation system. So to set some expectations about this study, please do not expect a staffing study. We are not focusing um, in this study on staffing numbers. We also cannot guarantee any across the board um, increase for employees. We do encourage you um, to expect a classification and compensation study and analysis with some recommendations. And you'll also get some communication throughout the study process. So as far as your role in this study, you'll be asked to complete a job assessment tool. Supervisors will be asked to review the job assessment tool and also to complete the management issues tool. The job assessment tool is designed to gather information about each job and it is extremely important to the study. The JATs are used to determine how work is organized, determine whether the organization is paying competitively and fairly, to recommend appropriate pay levels and ranges, and to help us design a new system that is fair and equitable for all employees. So the job assessment tool will be available online 24 hours a day, seven days a week during the active survey period. It can be done with any, um, from any computer with internet access. Each employee will be assigned a unique ID number and you'll receive an email with that unique ID number. The job assessment tool will be available for two weeks starting on October 27th, 2022. That is Thursday, October 27th. And the supervisor review will last for one week and will start immediately following the completion of the employee portion of the job assessment tool. So the job assessment tool collects information on the following. Uh, there is a section for an overview of the job, essential job functions, the type of work performed, education and work experience, five job factors, leadership, working conditions, complexity, decision-making and relationships, equipment and machinery, and physical abilities. So when you receive your unique ID via email, there'll also be a link for you to click on. Once you click on that link, it'll take you to this page and you will type in your unique ID that you received. Your last name will auto-populate. Um, if your last name does not appear, please email us so that we can check into that. Um, if someone else's last name comes up, that is definitely a red flag. So just email us and we'll get that sorted out. But as long as your last name appears, you can go ahead and click continue. You'll see this next screen. Uh, there's two sections here, employee JAT and supervisor review. So for the first two weeks, you will go into the employee JAT. So even if you are a supervisor, you will not have access to supervisor review until after the employee portion has closed. So everyone will go into employee JAT at first. Click on that um, link. It's going to bring up this next uh, screen where you can see the five sections of the job assessment tool, basic information, essential functions, job factors, equipment and machinery, and physical abilities. So under basic information, this is going to look a lot like um, if you look at a job description, if you follow the format of the job description, that's what it's really going to look like. The way that I like to describe the job assessment tool is if you could write your own job description, what would you put in it? Um, you know your job better than anyone else. So tell us, what do you do on that daily basis? How would you describe that job? So this very first section is going to ask you to give a brief introduction. So one to two sentences giving an overview of your job. There's um, another section where you can go into detail about the various tasks. But for this first one, the job introduction, like I said, it's just one or two sentences. And then it's also going to ask if you have any uh, supervisory responsibilities. How many folks do you supervise directly? 
Um, how many do you supervise indirectly? Then it's going to ask about the type of work that you perform, the education and experience that you feel um, should be required to have your position. So this is not asking how much education and experience you currently have, but how much you feel um, the organization should require of this position. And then it's also going to ask about any licenses or certifications that you feel should be required or that maybe just should be uh, preferred. You'll notice that there's going to be a save button at the end of every single section. Please click that save button. Um, otherwise you will have to go back in and redo everything. The next section is essential functions. This is where you can go in depth on the various uh, roles and responsibilities of your job. There is room for 15 tasks. Um, however, if you need to combine some tasks into one box, that is totally fine. There's also a box for you to indicate uh, what percentage of your time is spent on those tasks, as well as if it is a priority of yours. The next section is job factors, and there are five job factors. The first is leadership. So this is asking what is your level of leadership within the organization as a whole. At the bottom of um, each of these job factors is a comment box where you can provide additional detail. So you're going to select the one that is the closest match. In that comment box, um, feel free to leave any uh, feedback as far as why you chose um, that statement. Um, if only part of it really applies to you, you can indicate which part applies versus which doesn't. The next one is working conditions. So do you work in a safe, secure environment or are you dealing with crisis situations? Once again, you're selecting whichever one best applies. And once again, there's also gonna be a comment box. The next is complexity. So what is the level of complexity of your job? Is it strictly clerical or manual or do you need a, is it advanced professional or entry level professional? Decision making is the next factor. So it's asking what is your decision making authority within the organization as a whole? Once again, there will be a comment box at the bottom. And then finally, we have relationships. So what is, um, what is the level of relationships in your um, role? Do you work primarily alone? That doesn't mean that you don't have any coworkers, but are you the only one in the organization that has your job? Or do you work with maybe more than 10 coworkers who um, engage in the same activities as you? Or are you the one that are supervising? Um, are you the one that is interacting with senior managers, citizens, and elected officials on a regular basis? Once again, there is going to be a comment box. The next section is equipment and machinery, and this is a check all that apply. So it's going to ask about the different um, types of equipment and machinery that you use on a daily basis. Um, if there are any that are not on the list, um, there will be a comment box at the bottom. Feel free to add those. And then the last section is physical ability. So this is asking you what type of um, work, whether it's light work, medium work, um, heavy work, are you having to you know, uh, lift and carry objects that weigh you know, more than a certain uh, number of pounds? And then it's going to ask you about their required physical abilities. So um, what physical abilities must you have to perform your essential job functions? Are you having to um, grasp things? Are you having to... Um, crawl around places? Are you pulling on things, pushing things? Once again, this is a check all that apply. If you have questions about what we mean by a certain um, you know, physical ability, that green question mark, if you hover over it with your mouse, it will produce a description. Once again, make sure that you are hitting save. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, please contact us. There is an email as well as the phone number that you can call. So after the employee portion has closed, supervisors are asked to go in and review employees' um, submissions to make sure that you didn't leave anything out. Um, now a supervisor cannot change any answers. They can only agree or disagree and provide additional comments. So once again, the supervisor's review period will begin immediately after the employee portion is over. So once supervisors go um, to the supervisor review section, remember that is that second link on the home page, um, they will see a screen that looks like this. So it'll have all of their employees that they've been assigned to review. And if you hover over one of the boxes, it will um, say view details. So you'll um, hover over it and click on view details so that you can see what the employee submitted. 
and it'll bring up um, exactly what they enter. So the description, the type of work, education experience. Uh, like I mentioned, supervisors can't change anything. They can only agree or disagree. So if they want to provide additional um, information, maybe about some of the certifications that may be required, um, they can do so in the comment box below. Supervisors also have access to the management issues tool. So this is where they can um, provide information about employees or the classifications um, in the organization. So if there is a classification they would like us to pay close attention to, they can indicate it there. If there is a specific employee that maybe perhaps needs to be reclassified, they can enter that information here. And it'll ask about compensation or pay grade issues. And then, of course, um, there are numerous um, sections of this that you can fill out for different classifications or employees. So that is um, an overview of our study as well as your role in it. And once again, if you have any questions or concerns, please email us or give us a call. Thank you.